Hi, that's me, Seb, and I'm doing a voiceover at a lovely little beach, so you can see the beach right here in Monaco, and that is because I was wearing a microphone this day, microphone right there, which decided to stop working me on the day that I was filming with Pirelli, the tire manufacturer, who were doing a Pirelli experience day and invited me to come along and said I could drive a car. Now, they didn't tell me which car and then handed me a key to a Maserati. I didn't know which Maserati it was until I then found it, and now this is me testing the car. There's a lot of carbon in here. Push to start, where is it? There. Sounds good. I've never driven a Ghibli before. But we're just kind of driving out of Monaco now and experiencing this Ghibli. It sounds pretty good once you get out the revs. Is it me or does it sound kind of Ferrari V12? Is that weird? Listen now. second valve which opens at three and a half thousand there and then it gets loud but before that it's pretty quiet <laughs> so maserati ghibli um clearly not a diesel this one that's what i've established so far now genuinely i would have loved to be able to be more prepared and organize sort of what I was going to say about this car and all of the specs and everything. But I genuinely found out which car I was driving today when you did. So, um, you know, that's that. What do I know about Maserati Ghibli's? Not that much, to be perfectly honest with you. Not the car in which I am the most of an expert. I know they've been making them for a while. I know they're one of their highest selling models. Oh, tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel, are we in sport mode? I believe so. Tell me this doesn't kind of somewhat sound Ferrari to you. Right, there's a Ferrari sound to it. Like there's lots of carbon fiber and nice leather and things like that. It also feels from the inside kind of like Ferrari as you've got big carbon fiber paddles, carbon fiber all over the steering wheel. Why are there so many tunnels which are ruining my lighting? I would like light. Thank you. I'd also like all of you to... You know like that scene in Bruce Almighty? Bombs away! Hey, away! We're going to a road called Colder Torini. Whatever Ghibli this is, we're putting it through its paces now. <laughs> We've ended up on some like fantastic rows which have suddenly become very, very, very shady. It does sound good. It does some, of course, now that I'm going to tell you about it, it's not going to do it, but it does some like really nice pops on the downshift. There you go, there's one. I'm driving it systems off and it does it, le it does let go turn right I can't really turn right I go off a cliff the gear shifts are, are a bit slow the gearbox does feel dated oh, little tunnel whoa whoa yes okay phone let me just film this view for these guys this view is insane look at this right let's continue so these p0 experiences people just take their cars i heard there's a tdf on this drive an aventador 50th anniversary so they'll just take their cars and pirelli will organize these days for them which 
so far, I am finding really, really rather fun. I mean, this can be as fun actually on this road. I'm having a great time in this. <laughs> it does feel heavy. The brake pedal is a bit numb and the gearbox is a bit slow. But it is good fun. I'll give it that. It does sound good for a four-door sedan. I'm not going mad, am I? It does have a Ferrari tone to it. I mean, they are owned by the same company, so I guess Ferrari had something to do with that. Which is not all that surprising. I want a USB charger cable. There must be one somewhere. Cigarette lighter, no thank you. Um, and here. somewhere what's this hey there you are you little cheeky bastard and we're now following an aventador i don't know if you can hear him in front i'm actually enjoying this car a lot more than i initially did it really does have a bit of that italian ferrari soul in it to a voice uh, record because I, <laughs> I didn't have the microphone again for all of the clips that weren't filmed on the GoPro and I hope you enjoyed the review of the Maserati Ghibli. It turns out it was a grand sport. I loved it. This is me arriving at a lunch stop where I pointed at several really lovely cars. You probably see the Aventador right there. I then proceeded to have lunch and have an incredibly exciting afternoon that afternoon actually and a video on that is going to be coming very soon. Now for this one I just want to say thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like if you haven't already. And I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Cheers, guys. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye. Hey! Let's go! Back! Yo, once again, I'm back around. Rush it back in style.